What do you do on those days that you don't feel that confident or fearless or powerful like you did out there? Uh, pretend. Fake it? Yeah. Until we make it? I mean, why not? It's either that or cry myself to sleep. Who wants to do that? You wake up with puffy eyes the next day. That's a waste of waste tears. Of Hey hustlers, this video is for all my female bosses, my girl entrepreneurs, and all my female breadwinners. I wanna teach you how to walk in your vision. I know a lot of you like to create vision boards where you go on Pinterest, you get different pictures, and maybe upload them to Canva and make your digital vision board on your iPad, computer, or maybe you're old school and you like to cut out different clips from magazines or newspapers and create a physical vision board. I am a visionary. A visionary is someone who is very intentional with their life. I know exactly who I am. I know exactly who I want to be. And I'm able to see fragments of different stages of my life unraveling before it really came into place. When I was 14 years old, I went and I toured Paul Mitchell, one of the most expensive hair schools in the US. And walking through the tour, I was just like, I feel myself here like this is where I'm gonna go like I'm not going to college I'm not going when I leave high school this is where I'm coming like this is where I'm supposed to be 17 years old I graduated from Paul Mitchell no grants no parental assistance I graduated from that school I told my mom that I was going to start my own business I was gonna start my own hair brand in 2020 I started my own hair business I showed the behind the scenes of curating my hair business across my YouTube platform and that's how I got to my 12,000 subscribers today many people from different cities states countries have reached out to me and have told me that I inspired them to start their own business I inspired them to have faith again and to keep pursuing what it is that they're trying to do in life when I was 18 years old I said that my dream car was a mercedes-benz and I wanted to drive off with a mercedes-benz when I went to the dealer they told me that I had champagne taste with a beer bottle credit score and the car dealer told me that I should get a Volkswagen instead which I absolutely love my Volkswagens she didn't give me no problem well I didn't love her actually the day that I got her I was crying I was like this is an old person car but they said you have champagne taste with a beer bottle credit score and my car dealer told me, he said, get this Volkswagen. It fits the credit score that you brought to me. It fits your budget. He said, pay this note every month on time and pay this car note off. You may not even have to pay the whole car off. Pay most of the car off. And he said, I guarantee you when you come back in two to three years and you turn this car in, you will be able to turn this Volkswagen in for a Mercedes Benz. And I did that in that three years. So literally anything that I put my mind to, I'm going to bring it to fruitation. Let's say your dream car is a Mercedes Benz. You saw your favorite social media influencer, you saw your favorite celebrity, or maybe you saw a commercial of a Mercedes Benz AMG. How do you know that that AMG Coupe is your dream car if you never physically walked in the vision and went to the dealership and test drove the car? You don't know what it feels like to put your hands on the wheel of a Mercedes Benz. You don't know what it feels like to actually physically sit in it and visualize yourself in it while you're riding your bike to school, while you're driving, you know, your little hoopty that's giving you problems every other week. Or maybe you drive a perfectly normal average car, you're just ready to upgrade. But how do you know that's your dream car? You might actually get in that car and realize there's certain features and certain things that don't even fit you. You have to actually put yourself in the middle of the vision and I guarantee you that car is $100,000. You're going to figure out how to come up with 100 plans to come up with $100,000. Whether it takes you a year, three years, 10 years, you're going to figure out how to get it done because you physically felt yourself in it. Not only did you originally have a vision of yourself, but you actually physically was able to envision yourself in it by placing yourself in the middle of the vision, you're gonna figure out how to get it done. I guarantee you I've done it. I've done it many times before. You're going to figure out 
what it is that you need to do to get it done. I want to walk in a vision. I am currently working on a new challenge for myself. I challenge you guys to join me in on this challenge. I just created a new business and a new brand for you all called HerDigitalHustle.com. It is a hub and it is a mentoring resource for any of my girl bosses that are looking to start their own businesses. I am nowhere near, I've launched it already, but I'm nowhere near um, having all the products, resources, and courses that I plan on having on the site on there yet, but check out what I have on there so far. The first thing that I do have is the Her Guide to Building Business Credit. It's only $25. I'm gonna be teaching you how to obtain your LLC for as little as $40, how to obtain your EIM, how to get business credit cards, how to get business loans, how to sign up for trade lines and build your business credit in as little to 30 days to a year. Because here's the thing, when you're trying to start a business, it requires inventory, it requires funding that you may not have today, and you can use other people's money, AKA the bank, to obtain that. That dream car that you want, you can get your dream car in your business name, regardless of what your personal credit is. That dream apartment that you want, you can get that apartment as a corporate lease in your business name and write your rent off as a business tax every single month. There is so much leverage to building business credit. So I've built business credit before. You guys have seen me through my journey of starting my own hair business how I was able to get all the inventory for my hair business was through building business credit but I'm starting over completely from scratch I'm starting at ground zero with you all it's a challenge for me and for you all to start building our business credit I just obtained a brand new LLC for my business her digital hustle and I'm gonna be starting my business credit over from scratch and all the steps that I'm going to be using to obtain that I've created a course so that you can join me in this challenge because I'm going to go see my dream apartment today and it may not even be that exact apartment that I am going to be in the intent is I know that at some point in my life the level of luxury that this apartment complex we're going to go look at has is something that I am going to live and walk in at some point in my life whether it takes me a year two years three years and I guarantee you I promise y'all when I get it, it's going to be in a corporate lease. It's going to be a tax write-off because I create my content. A lot of my business is ran in the comfort of my home. As you can see, I'm probably making money right now <laughs> off of my business. I make digital sales. I'm probably making money right now while I'm sitting in my bed. My home should be a tax write-off. So it takes business credit to do that. So to keep myself motivated with this brand new business, I'm going to go tour and walk in the vision of something that I'm working towards so I can see what I'm doing it for and I can have that motivation while I'm building my business credit. Like I said, it's only $25, 25 page course. That's a dollar per page. Y'all need to join me on building this business credit because I guarantee you a lot of what you're working towards, you can get that leverage and get yourself in that position just by simply building your business credit which is something completely separate from your personal credit let's go ahead and get dressed and i will meet y'all in the car let's go walk in my vision i'm down the street from the apartment it has the valet so i didn't want to just like pull up before my time and just be standing out uh, tour starts at 1230 it's 1220 so I'm probably about to start heading that way now I'm tired of being a strong black woman mm -hmm. I'm tired of being a strong alright y'all let's do this here we are and they have valet walkable lifestyle so let me pull into valet Complimentary valet parking. Okay. Entryway. Like what? Okay. Y'all, 
we finally made it. I am in my dream apartment. <sighs> now this unit is not like my favorite because it's really dark in here, if you can't tell. But first of all, this is the, when you first walk in, okay. Oh my goodness. To live like this would be a dream, okay? This is the pantry. Well, not a pantry, but like you probably could put like storage, towels. I'm assuming this is gonna be your laundry space. It's a little tight. Let's see. Ooh, a half bath. Look at the floors, y'all. What I gotta do? <laughs> Please, you re-motivate yourself. When you feel like giving up, go look at some stuff that you can't afford. Go look at some stuff that you can't afford. How do you know that this is your dream apartment? How do you know to put this on a vision board if you've never seen it? If you've never seen yourself in it? Look at me in this kitchen. me in this kitchen do you see it do you see me in this kitchen do you see me in this kitchen cuz baby I do like, look at the the gold detail please please look at all the cabinets Look at the oven. Look at the wine cooler. Did you got a wine cooler in your house? Did you got a Picasso in your house? <sighs> Look at the gold sink. I could see me doing dishes in here. Can you see me in this kitchen? Do I look like I belong here? Now, this is a mid-rise, it's not actually like a high-rise. I think it goes up to 14 floors. And I've seen some units that have floor to ceiling windows. This window for $3,000 a month, you're gonna have to give me more window. You're gonna have to give me more window. But you got a patio right here. And then the bedroom has its own patio that can be accessed that way. Bedroom. Look at the bathroom. <laughs> do I look like I belong here? I feel like I do. Oh, look at the bathroom. I belong here. I look like I belong here. I look like I belong here. You belong in something like this. You just gotta put in the work. I was gonna stay in bed today and what, cry? I was gonna stay in bed and cry? Please, look at this. I could just see me. I could just see me. I could see me in this. I can see me in this. and something like this. I'm talking about, oh. you have to be delusional. Like you literally have to be delusional in order to be an entrepreneur. So when I feel like crying and I feel like giving up and I feel like I'm under attack by the devil, like you're not worthy of your dreams, your desires, your business isn't worthy, your ideas isn't worthy. When he tries to say that my God is not capable of putting me in places like this, I'm in it. 
is like a study area. Okay, office. I asked to see a two bedroom because I want to see what it would look like to have my daughter have a bedroom. <laughs> I can see this for my baby. I can see this for my baby. And her own, with the. <laughs> my God, my God, my God. Even if I was not to get in this complex. Like to build something, the inspiration, like I literally will buy a town home and renovate it. I need the gold, I need the cabinets, like it might not even be this per se, but just to show myself that I'm worthy of being in these spaces, I'm worthy of having luxury. I just gotta work hard and keep putting my faith in God. That's what I've been doing, that's what I'm gonna keep doing. They have one other unit that we can see. I'm gonna go to that other unit just to see, I'm assuming since he gave me two units to see that the other one will look different. So we're gonna go to that one as well. So I will talk to y'all once I get down the hall. Let me tell y'all something. I just have a bad, 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 bad morning. I just see this big life for myself and I'm, I'm not in it right now. And it's like, you're still not in this big fantasy that's in your head. And it's like, it's hard keeping the motivation and feeling like other people are like, you know, what are you complaining for? You're an adult, like you're choosing to, you know, like, I don't want to explain it in words, but when you're struggling upward as an entrepreneur, everybody's just like, go get a regular job, go get a work from home job. A work from home job is not going to give me this. A work from home job is not going to give me what I want. Something like this make you realize like, you're afraid to post the content, why? You feel like people will laugh at you, say you're doing so much. The people that might talk down on you, do they live in this? Hmm. Please, please. record for y'all but actually serve the purpose of why I'm here. I, I just wanted to see myself. I wish I could pop y'all up. I just wanted to see myself. They say the love of money is the root of all evil. But it's like it costs money. <laughs> you gotta make good money to live like this. You gotta be a hard worker. You gotta be dedicated. You have to have a level of discipline. Like this not just something that's just handed to people to be able to live in like just luxury like this and people just paying rent on something like this. Like they got it to where they're paying rent. Like what do they do? Like I pulled up here, there's cars that look like mine. There's Mercedes, there's G-Wagons, there's Rolls Royce. At LA, Range Rovers. Wonder what kind of work ethic they have. It's the bathroom for me. I just feel like the Bob, she is proving points that we belong here. We belong, we, I'm gonna live in something of this magnitude. It may not be this unit. It may not be this apartment complex. This 
so I need it. You guys wanna come in my closet? She's a little lackluster. But she, <laughs> better than mine, I'm just kidding. I'm grateful, mind you, when you are inspired or you are manifesting, another, I heard, I thought somebody was coming here. When you're manifesting the next season, or seasons in your life, be grateful for what you have now. Like, I'm grateful for the apartment that I have now. My business keeps a roof over my head and I'm grateful to God for that. I'm grateful to God I have a two bedroom. My last apartment a year ago, me and my daughter were sharing one bedroom. So it's just like, it's levels. Like, I might be on level two, this might not get, uh, this might not be to 11, level 11, but I'm, gonna die trying to accomplish any and everything that it is I want to accomplish. I see people on this very app every single day accomplish lifestyles like this through hard work, consistency. I don't have consistency. I don't have, I have hard work. I don't have consistency and I don't have consistent discipline. And when you come into spaces like this, I feel like I'm going to go to sleep tonight. I'm going to lay in my bed. I'm going to watch this YouTube video for myself over and over. And I'm going to realize that like this is not gonna come from doing the bare minimum. <sighs> How's the apartments? Hopefully y'all don't think I'm crazy. I don't know, I'm a little delusional around here. But I just wanted to walk in my vision board. I didn't want to look this up on Pinterest. I wanted to like. I'm gonna put this on my vision board. 10 seconds. Oh my gosh, am I delusional? Maybe I'm delusional. Ugh. How many people count now? Oh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are inspired. And remember, you still have to produce in the midst of weeds and keep believing and working for whatever it is that you want in life and keep putting yourself in the middle of it manifest it see yourself in it put yourself in the middle of it i am turning 27 next month i might not see anything like this until i'm 40 i'm 50 but god i just pray as long as i see it before my time is up i'm satisfied I hope I motivated you today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Might be six months from now. Who knows y'all? Y'all know how I do. Oh, let me get out these people apartments. Cause I can't afford this today. Look at this. I'm on my way out, guys. I just wanted to add a little bit extra. But could you imagine having a birthday party here in your lounge? The content that we made. Oh my gosh.
So I hope this video was helpful to you all and I hope it motivates you to get up and go and walk in your vision. Now, of course, if on my vision board, I would love to be in Turks and Caicos. I can't go and walk in that, but hell, I can go to Galveston Beach and I can sit on Galveston Beach, close my eyes and journal and manifest and write affirmations that this time next year, instead of being on Galveston Beach, looking at this green, brown, murky water, this time next year, I will be in Turks and Caicos, sands and a G-string on the beach. Like literally there's so many ways that you can just get into a mental space and you can manifest and pull certain energy towards you. And also keep in mind that while you're manifesting and you're walking in your vision, you have to put in the work. So nothing is going to come to you without any action. So while you're manifesting and while you are looking to grow in your life or grow in your business, make sure you're putting in the work and the action behind it. That's why it's very important to me right now to start building on my business credit because I know that living in my dream apartment is not something that's going to happen overnight. It's probably not even to live in an apartment like what we toured today. I'm who knows? We never know, but it might not even be something that I'm going to be ready for or in position for a year from now. But in the meantime, I'm going to be doing the shadow work behind the scenes for the next year, building up my business credit, because when I get there, I will be getting that in my business name. Okay, my my the roof over my head, my home will be a tax write off like I'm working in my home. So it will be a tax write off. My next dream car will be a tax write off. It will be in my business name. So I'm doing the work behind the scenes while I'm manifesting and just putting faith in where it is I'm going. And I just absolutely love being delusional. It works for me. So hopefully it'll work for you. Let me know what it is down below in the comments, something that you're manifesting, whether it is business or just a lifestyle that you are looking to curate for yourself. What is it that you are manifesting and how are you planning to walk in your vision? And I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure y'all join me on this challenge, her guide to building business credit, herdigitalhustle.com. And I'll see you guys in my next video.